Now, in February, the Beijing municipal government rolled out new strict rules aimed at cooling the property market in the capital. But the Beijing Spring Real Estate Trade Fair prices show little or no sign of falling. Xia Qiu reports. Developers from Beijing's neighbors are trying to capitalize on the capital's real estate restrictions. Non-Beijing registered families who can't show proof of five consecutive years of social security or income tax payment are banned from buying apartments. Our project is in the suburb of Tianjin. It takes only 30 minutes to Beijing. Tianjin requires income tax documents for only one year. What's more, our price is only half the price in Beijing. We believe these factors will help us attract more Beijing buyers. However, many visitors who meet the requirements say they are not interested in anything outside the capital. Despite the lack of discounts, the booths of Beijing projects are the most crowded. I'm looking for a cheap apartment around the fourth or fifth ring road of Beijing. 90 square meters is enough. Now the price is 10 percent higher than I expected. Developers haven't sharply cut prices. Some only promised a small discount. I won't buy now, but I certainly won't consider a house outside Beijing. My son may come back from Canada to work in Beijing. We want to choose an apartment for him. But now housing in Beijing is still too expensive. We have decided to wait and see. Maybe it's better to rent a place. To the disappointment of visitors, home prices in Beijing remain stubbornly high. But many of them still regard Beijing as their best choice and are taking a wait-and-see attitude. It seems that the low volume of real estate sales in Beijing will not change in the near future. Xia Qiu, CCTV.